Artastic, and I am the creator of All Things in Artastic Nation. If you are a teacher, make sure that you head on over to my Teachers Pay Teachers store, Ms. Artastic, by simply searching Ms. Artastic on TPT, your number one place for art lessons on Teachers Pay Teachers. Artastic, and these are the episodes that are coming up on the Biz Artastic YouTube channel. So check it out. We have a waffle coming up, a mochi. We're gonna be drawing a bumblebee. Make sure you hit the subscribe button so you know when these episodes are airing and premiering. We're gonna be drawing some ice cream and, of course, a lovely sunflower. So grab your art making mediums and hit that subscribe button and let's make some art. I'm is artastic and in this video drawing tutorial we're going to be drawing a waffle so grab your art making mediums and let's make some art all right we're going to begin our waffle by first we're going to draw a nice big circle all right inside that circle we're going to draw another circle so we're going to try and keep it parallel to the first circle as best we can but of course if there's some variation that's okay it is a cartoon after all next we're going to draw some syrup drips coming down so we'll put one drip there and then we'll have some syrup dripping down the side. Just like that. We can also have syrup dripping over the edge for some extra syrupy fun. All right, we're gonna add uh, the rest of our details on our waffle before we add anything extra to our background. First, we're gonna draw one curving line on this side and one circle on the opposite side. Between the eyes, we're gonna draw a smiley face and we're gonna draw a tongue sticking up. Draw a line halfway up the tongue and add little corners in the mouth with some curving lines. Back to this eye, in this eye we're gonna draw one big circle and two small circles along the edge. Then we're gonna color in the dark of the eye, leaving just those circles nice and white. All right, over here, we're gonna add a parallel line and thicken up this eye. So it almost looks like an upside down horseshoe. And then we're gonna color it in to make it nice and thick and stand out on our drawing. All right, we're gonna add some waffle texture. We're gonna start on this side and add an L. Then we're gonna draw the bottom half of a square. So we're gonna leave a little space bottom half of a square, and then an L. All right, here we're just gonna have parts of squares in between the eyes. That way we have like almost a grid pattern, right? We wanna keep all our squares lined up, imagining that it continues down in rows, so that way it's a pattern across to match a waffle pattern. All right, I'm gonna start on this side. I'm gonna start with a square. And a square on this side. I'm using my eyes to line up. And imagine that there was a line going straight down. And I don't wanna draw over my face detail, so I'm just gonna add parts of squares, imagining that the face is covering up those parts. Okay. Now I'm gonna do whatever parts remain, filling in the bottom details. And I have a nice lovely waffle pattern on my waffle. All right, we're gonna add some legs. So two lines down for each leg. 
curve it at the bottom. Big curving line to make a half circle or an oval. And then we'll do a big shoes. We'll do down, big round line up, back across and connect. We'll add a nice shiny spot with some curving triangles on those shoes. And we're also gonna add some curving rectangles on different spots on our waffle for some nice shine. And you can leave some edges drawn for the shine on your drips if you would like. In the bigger areas, you can draw full rectangles or triangles. I'm also gonna add a little bit of syrup on the ground on either side and once you're done, you're ready to grab a black felt marker. We're gonna trace around the outside, thicken up our details and make it bold and professional. We're just going around the outline only, so you can go ahead, grab a black felt marker and outline the waffle only. Not any of these drips because they're part of the background unless they are attached. Okay, so go ahead and outline your waffle with your black felt marker. Once you're done, you can go ahead and find a lovely waffle color. We're first gonna color in our waffle and then we're gonna shade with a brown. So I'm gonna pick a lighter brown and you can use any mark medium you want and you can go ahead and color in your waffle with a brown, leaving the tongue white, the eyes and the white and the eyes white and any of the shiny spots you might have added. We'll leave them white for now. I'm gonna grab a darker brown and I'm gonna use it to color in the syrup first. And then we're gonna use it for some shading on our waffle. Remember to leave some edges white for the highlights on your artwork. Once you're done, you're gonna trace over your grid with your darker brown medium and the circle along the inside. So this circle right here. Okay, so go ahead and trace the circle and trace over those lines on the grid to create some waffle shading. Once you're done, find a choice color for the shoes.
color in the tongue. Grab a gray, shave the mouth around the tongue, around the eyes, and along the inside of just the edge of this circle. Okay, so we're doing the, just the circle only where it has quite a long edge. So we'll shave that and the bottoms of the shoes. And once you're done, your lovely waffle drawing is done. If you liked that video, hit subscribe as new art lessons are added weekly. Teacher, if you are looking for some fully planned art lessons, please make sure that you head on over to my Teachers Pay Teacher store, Ms. Artastic, or for fully planned art teacher curriculum, head on over to artasticcollective.com. Or if you're looking for some other teaching ideas and art inspiration, you can visit my blog at MsArtastic.com or listen to the Ms. Artastic podcast on your favorite 